Dear friends, today we will discuss the introduction to operational networks. Or in short, we call it open. Now, first of all, let us try and understand the symbolic representation of an operational interface. This is the simple representation of an operational amplifier. Now, the operational amplifier is basically having two input terminals. One of the terminal, which is given as a positive sign, is called non inverted term. Hence, it has been given a symbolic representation plus and V2 is the voltage that has been applied to that particular terminal. Now, this is an inverting term and designated as minus. It is having power supply points one is called VCC plus VCC, other one is minus VEE, and you have the output, usually the output voltage is designated as V0. Now, what are the basic features of an operational amplifier? We usually call them the, the ideal characteristics. So, if we sum up the ideal characteristics, of open what is the first one it is having infinite input impedance now what do we mean by that now the infinite input in, input impedance means the operation amplifier as of having two inputs one is the plus, what is the inverting, another one is the non inverting. And if we draw the equivalent circuit of the operational amplifier, it is like this. This difference is V2 minus V1 and we will call it V in and this is R O this is R in and this is V O and this is the gain of the operation amplifier. Now the infinite input impedance here means the input impedance of the operational amplifier if you look into the circuit this is R in which is actually infinite but in practical case it is in the range of megahertz that is a it's very important feature of an operational amplifier now let's move on to the next one It has zero output impedance. That is, R zero is equal to 
zero. Again, if you see Again, if you see the circuit of operational amplifier, you can see that the output impedance, which is this one, is zero. In practical case, it is in the range of, in practical cases, ranges in ohms, few hundred ohms. Now, why it is important? That's very important because if a load is connected to the output of the substitution amplifier, and if it is providing a voltage at the output, obviously there will be a current flow through this. Now, the more is the output impedance, the more internal drop will be there inside the operational amplifier and the expected voltage at the output will not be present because the output voltage what we will get across the load will be minus the drop that is inside so in practical cases it will be very negligible since it is in the order of ohms and and in ideal case it should be around zero now the third one output gain or the voltage gain is infinite that is a v is infinite now in case of operational amplifiers AV is actually written as AOL and which is nothing but infinite here. AOL means it is open to gain and it is infinite in case of operational amplifier, amplifier and by the case and it's very very high for a practical operational amplifier. Now, the fourth one is perfect. balance between the two input. What does that mean? Now, suppose we have a voltage V1, we have a voltage V2 has been applied to the respective inputs of the operational amplifier and we have a output voltage. Therefore, the output voltage will be related to the input voltages like this. Now, where EOL is the open loop gain voltage of operational amplifier. Now, operational amplifiers are also known as differential amplifiers. These are very good at amplifying the difference between the two input at the output and it rejects the similar type of voltage at the output. Now, what we can see from here is uh, the perfect balance between the two input here means if we apply similar voltage to the inputs, the output will be zero. Now, let's move on to the next one. its characteristics do not drift with temperature. Now what does this mean? Suppose 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 there is a circuit that has been attached with our question amplifier and we have a V in and we get a V out. Now if 
we take the V out versus V in, it is actually the both skin. Now let's let's take a value. So what? Uh, what does this mean? This means that the gain is one. So even if we provide an input of three, we may get an input. We may get an output three. So the gain is one. Well, I haven't drawn any circuit. I'm assuming it is a circuit. There is an input. There is one output. And well, okay, two. let's make it a black box. A black box consisting of an open having some circuit in it. And when we are applying a V in, we are getting an output V out. And if we take the gain, we get a one. That means if we provide three at the input, we get a three at the output. Hence the gain is one. Now I have, I would have taken that at a particular temperature, say say temperature 30 degrees centigrade. Now if I increase the temperature to 70 degrees centigrade, I will expect the same results. That is So, this shows that even if the temperature is of the system consisting of an operational wrapper changes from 30 degrees to 70 degrees, the characteristics do not differ. Now, the next one is the bandwidth. The bandwidth of this open plus again that. Now what does this mean? Now suppose again we have a system consisting of the op amp and there has been a signal with F1 applied with the input having a peak to peak voltage say V1 we get an output frequency F2 P to P voltage say V2 and if we take the ratio V2 by V1 that's that V3 I'm assuming there is a circuit providing us a gain of 3 and F1 is equal to F2. Now, let me change the frequency. That means I am increasing the frequency at the input. That means when I increase the frequency, the signal gets squeezed up. Similarly, the output will follow and again, and again, say, after increasing the frequency, it is F1 star and output frequency also increases it is again x2 star and the output what we get is v2 star and v1 star they remain the same and the gain is again 3 so what does this mean this means if we plot voltage gain versus frequency so when it was 3 for a frequency f1 when we increase the frequency to f1 star the gain remained the same and this goes on till the frequency tends to infinite. That means that means that even if we increase the frequency beyond the limits, we see that the gain of the system remains constant. Hence, we can say that the bandwidth of the of is infinite. But 
this doesn't happen in practical case there is a finite bandwidth between which the operation of amplifier provides a faithful reproduction of the input. Thank you very much for the video. We will move on to the next video where we will discuss how an operation of amplifier can work as an inverting amplifier. Thank you very much.